everybody, this is Video Bob from uh, Video Bob's RV and Bus channel. I wanted to turn you on to this cool wireless HDMI system that I use in my rig. Now, it's made by IO Gear, and I'll put a link on there so that you can buy one if you want to get one. It comes with a cool remote control. Now, what's cool about this one is you've got like what? One, two, three, four, what? Five different connections on this thing, right? Let me look, maybe it's four. No, it's four connections plus computer on the remote. All right, this is how it works. You can have like four or five different connections hooked up to this thing, HDMI, that's the router. It transmits to other receivers. I think you can have up, up to four different ones. I have two. I have one in there in the uh, living area, one in the bedroom. Let me show you what the receiver looks like. Here's the receiver going into my TV right here, and I've got it wired in. Now, this used to be two windows on the bus, just like any other bus. I made this panel out of plywood, took it to an upholstery shop, had it covered in matching vinyl, padded with piping around it so that it matched, removed the other trim that would have been there, screwed this right into the metal ribs of the bus, uh, mounted this TV holder plaque behind there and uh, run power up into it and yada 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 and, and but the point was I didn't want to run HDMI cables back and forth throughout the bus you know most buses that were made 80s 90s even up into the 2000s they only ran standard coaxial cable HDMI didn't come in until not that long ago but I wanted high definition video but I wanted more than that so what's cool about this router as, as I can select with the remote between multiple sources. I can have my Direct TV, Apple TV, DVD player, computer, uh, over-the-air broadcast, um, a Kodi box, any source I want, Roku stick, anything, right? I can have all those different inputs, four different inputs through HDMI, and then there's another receiver in the back bedroom with another TV just like this. What's cool about this system is that either person or either viewer from either side can select any of the sources and have it sent to any of the routers. So the person here can, can select the DVD player in there and have it go to this TV and the person back there can select the direct TV and have it go back there. And here's another great cool thing about this unit. Not only does it send the video and audio wirelessly through HDMI, but it also repeats the remote signal. There's a little eye here, this little eye, right? That little eye plugs into the box and repeats the remote. And what that's for, you can put your DVD player, your direct TV inside that box back there, and I can point my remote at that eye and it'll repeat the remote back to the unit that's inside so if I take you over here and I don't have anything in here but like a DVD player right now because I take my Apple TV home now I've stopped using direct TV uh, and dish and things like that I don't bother with it anymore I don't use my satellite system anymore I'll tell you why because I prefer like most people to watch on demand and so what I like to do is I like to use my Apple TV hot spotted to my Apple iPad, which is a hotspot for my Verizon internet, of which I have unlimited data. And I put my Apple TV in here, hooked up to the router, and I can control it from either the front or the back. It transmits to both TVs at the same time, and also repeats the thing. It's the greatest way you can upgrade your coach uh, from being the old school coaxial composite or RF video, and you can be uh, watching high definition, on demand, Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, or whatever. Most of these Vizios, like this Vizio is a quote smart TV, has all this stuff built into it. And, uh, you know, when I'm docked at my shop, it's picking up the Wi-Fi here or at your home or wherever. And when you're out traveling, you can pick up the Wi-Fi at a lot of places. If you're close to a McDonald's or a hotel or a place that has free Wi-Fi, you can usually pick up off Wi-Fi there. They also make Wi-Fi 
repeater amplifiers that you can get for your rig, and we'll talk about that in future videos because I'm thinking about getting one. But anyway, this is uh, some of the stuff I wanted to show, and I wanted to show off how the, the wireless video works in here. And, uh, you know, this is the other TV that's back here. I don't have it on right now, but I have the wireless uh, transmitter or receiver hidden up there with the little eye. The eye doesn't take up any space at all. And what's cool about that is I could be laying in bed and be controlling something over there and, and getting my video in high definition. All right, anyway, there's a video, Bob. If you want to learn more about tips and tricks like this in the future, just subscribe. And here's another cool video. Thanks for watching. I'm Video Bob.